Magandang araw mga bata! Welcome to Teacher Marla's Channel kung saan maraming matututunan sa lesson na ating pag-aaralan. Our subject is Mathematics 6 and I'm Teacher Les. So these are the objectives for today's lesson. Number 1, calculate speed, distance, and time. And number 2, solve problems involving average rate and speed. So let's define the terms that we will encounter as we go on with our discussion. The first term is average speed. So it is a measure of the distance traveled in a given period of time. It is sometimes referred to as the ratio of distance and time. The formula for average speed is distance divided by time. Speed is a scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving. Speed can be thought of as the rate by which an object covers distance. So some of the units used in speed are kilometer per hour, miles per hour, meter per second. So distance is the total length between two positions. So some of the units used in distance are kilometer, miles, meter. So next we have time. So, it is the quantity measured or measurable period during which an action, process, or condition exists or continues. So, some of the units are, are minutes, seconds. So, an easy way to remember the distance, speed, and time equations is to put the letters into a triangle. So, the triangles will help you remember these three rules. So, these are the formula for distance. We have speed times time, time, distance divided by speed, and speed, distance divided by time. So we will use the Tekon's triangle to remember this formula. Uh, this is a Tekon's triangle. D stands for distance, S for speed, and T for time. So mas madaling memorize ang formula gamit ang Tekon's triangle. Tandaan lang na ang D ay nasa taas at ang S at T ay nasa Baba. So, kapag hinahanap ang distance, you will cover letter D. So, the formula is speed times time. For the formula of speed, cover letter S. So, the formula is distance divided by time. So, distance is the dividend or siya yung nasa loob and time is the divisor or siya yung nasa labas kapag nagde-divide tayo. Kapag hinahanap naman ng time sa problem, tatakpan lang ang t. So, ang formula ay distance divided by speed. So, distance is the dividend or siya yung nasa loob and speed is the divisor or siya yung nasa labas kapag nagdi-divide tayo. So, now, let's have examples. Example number one. So, if a car travels 100 kilometers in 2 hours, find the average speed. So, for the solution, so using the average speed formula, so the formula is uh, average speed equal distance divided by time. So, the distance is 100 kilometers and time is 2 hours. So, we need to divide 100 divided by 2. So, the answer is 50 kilometers per hour. And example number two, a world record holder ran 800 meters in 86 seconds. What was his speed rounded to the nearest tenths? So, using the Tekon's triangle, so we are looking for speed. So, tatakpan lang natin yung speed. So, ang matitira ay D and T. So, we will divide distance divided by T. So, the formula is speed equals distance divided by time. So, distance is 800 meters and time is 86 seconds. So, we need to divide 800 meters divided by 86 seconds. So, the answer is 9.3 meter per second. Number 3, a train travels at a speed of 30 miles per hour and travel 240 miles. How long did it take the train to complete its journey? So, uh, the question is how long did it take? So, we are looking for time. So, 30 miles per hour is speed. Then, 240 miles is um, the distance. So, 
So, using the Tekan's triangle, so, doon sa problem, time yung hinahanap. So, ang formula ay distance divided by speed. So, substitute, palitan lang natin. So, yung distance na nasa given sa problem ay 240 miles and yung speed naman ay 30 miles per hour. So, i-divide lang natin to 240 divided by 30. So, ang sagot ay 8 hours. Example number 4 is cyclist travels 20 kilometers in 4 hours. What is the speed of the cyclist? So, 20 kilometers, so siya yung uh, distance and 4 hours, siya yung time. So, ang hinahanap sa problem number 4 ay speed. Uh, gamit ang Tekan's triangle, so hinahanap ang speed. So, ang formula natin ay distance divided by time. So, ang distance ay 20 kilometers, ang time ay 4 hours. So, i-divide lang natin to 20 divided by 4 ay uh, equal sa 5 kilometers per hour. Then, example number 5, Jim traveled at the speed of 18 km per hour for 2 hours. What was the distance covered? So, yung 18 km per hour, siya yung speed. Then, yung 2 hours, siya naman yung time. So, ang tanong, what was the distance? So, uh, we are looking for the distance. So, using the Tekan's triangle, so ang formula natin ng distance ay, so tatakpan nyo lang to, so ang natira ay S and P, so speed times time. So, ang speed ay 18 km per hour and yung time naman ay 2 hours, so i-multiply lang natin, 18 times 2 is equal to 36 km. So, to solve speed problems, don't forget this formula. So, tandaan lang yung Tekan's triangle and kung saan nakalagay yung mga letters. So, mas madaling mamememorize yung mga formulas. So, ito yung una. So, speed. That is speed equals distance divided by time. So, tatakpan nyo lang yung speed. So, ang matitira ay D and T. So, distance divided by time. So, sunod naman, kapag time yung hinahanap, tatakpan nyo lang yung time. So, ang formula natin ay distance divided by speed. And the last one is distance. So, pag nawawalang distance, tatakpan lang ang distance. And ang formula natin ay speed times time. Okay, and that's the end of our discussion for today. I hope you learned how to solve problems involving speed. So, thank you for watching. I'm Teacher Les. So, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And if you are new in our channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell for more math and science videos.